This is a synchronous motor from a Panasonic microwave, where unfortunately a large cup of coffee was spilled, which then entered into the motor. This is a, a post-mortem, because this is quite an interesting motor. There are two contacts. This is the internals, a coil of wire that's energized by an AC current that then is affected or affects one, two, well, I guess <laughs> four poles this raised metal and acts on the rotor. Now the motor spins. So it's be interesting to see how many Many poles there are on this motor. Let's try it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight, eight pole pairs and four. Anyways, each, there are eight pole pairs, so eight north poles and eight south poles um, in this magnet that forms the rotor. Now, what happened was water entered and dripped and caused a conduction path which melted the wire. So this wire here from the drop of solder where I attached new wire to the contact well, actually, the terminal here, uh, somewhere between here and here, that material had melted. That wire has now been replaced. From the solder point to here. So, it now works again. So now we can put it back together. Something like that. So, oh, the motor is clearly working. Well, this is what the insides look like when they're put together. It took a while to figure that out. Housing traps the shafts.
and the post assembly test shows it's working.